at USD Toreros. I'm glad you're here to take this class. My name is Marguerite Baca, and I'm a campus recreation instructor here at USD. Now, I usually teach meditation and yoga and a soul satisfaction life coaching course. And I tell you, meditation is my greatest passion. Oh, because it brings you into calmness, ideally, and self-mastery. So, to get set up, what I like to do is use a block. However, if, if you're not that flexible, if you've got a lot of stiffness in your body, by all means, please just sit in a chair. Sit in a chair with a cushy pillow supporting your lumbar, your lower back. Uh, you can sit cross-legged. However, if you sit cross-legged, I recommend that you turn the tops of your feet down like this. And you don't stack your feet. You have them side by side. Otherwise, if the feet are flexed like this and you have your one leg pressing on the foot, the metatorsals get scrunched and that can cause discomfort. So the idea is we want to be as comfortable as possible physically, because there's basically two things that will distract you from coming to that calmness. Of course, your mind, scattered thoughts, and physical discomforts. So at least we can get set up as best as possible, physically comfortable. So uh, my preferred way at home is to sit on a block. Uh, I'll place it like this and I put it under my hips and the feet turned flip down on the sides like this and then I can lift my spine up. And that's the idea is to have the spine open so that the vitality of life in yoga it's called prana. That vitality of life can come in, come into the spine. And you've got all the major nerves there along the spine. So here we get a chance to calm those nerves. You know, every time we experience, uh, say, a little road rage, a shocking situation, we go, <gasps> and it's a little like a mini trauma on the nerves, <gasps> that jolt. So here we're using the breath. Combining presence of our mind, our heart, our breath, all together to soothe and calm the nerves. So, I will be using these Tibetan bells to summon your presence. Oh, isn't that lovely? And then... At the end, I'm going to do three consecutive rings. And that means that we're, we're coming out of the meditation. So I'll be guiding you. Find a position that suits you. And by the way, if you do this outdoors, it's ideal if you, you sit on a slope, if you can find a little slope on the on the side of the hill or the park or whatnot and then your hips can be elevated like this and the knees forward or the knees dropping all right so let's, let's kind of shrug around take some breaths get ready to come within I want you to be aware of the, the medulla oblongata, that's the very base of the skull, that's lifting, and the chin is parallel to the earth, ideally. Now, three most common areas of tension. One, brow. And so when you're in your academic brain, you're trying to figure things out, everything kind of scrunches there, so now we're just, ah. <sighs> Serene brow, all around the eyes, and the second point, jaw. I like.
like to include the root of the tongue oh. and the shoulders. Oh, drop them. Okay, so you go ahead and close your eyes. Just feel that cool inhale coming in through your nose, stretching through your lungs. Hold it a moment. Take a sip more breath in. Hold it and let out a sigh. Ah, letting go. Brow, jaw, shoulders. Slow inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Retain it just a moment and feel the medulla lifting your spine, leading the way up. Slow exhale, all breath out, pause a moment. You feel you're taking your eyes inward. And inhaling, feel that stream of breath as though it's going up your spine. All the way up, you feel the crown of your head go up. And long, soft exhale. Now continue breathing consciously. And to give your immune system a boost, begin to engender gratitude as you breathe in. Feel gratitude for this breath. Appreciation. Appreciation for your health. Anything else that comes to mind. Breath by breath, saturating your inner atmosphere with gratitude. Now slightly constrict the back of your throat. So as you narrow that passageway, it slows down the breathing. And you feel that cool inhale. Brushing your throat, stretching through your lungs. Pause for a moment. And feel in this breath, I'm penetrating through the restlessness. Exhale it out. Releasing tensions. Serene brow. Your next couple of cycles of breath. Inquiring what may be troubling you, what may be foremost on your mind. Any undercurrents of thought. So there's no resisting, no denying, just observing, being aware of yourself. And taking a moment to really identify any emotions. And for now, file that away. Know that you can get back to that concern or distraction later. And knowing that as you're continuing to breathe consciously, slowly enjoying full conscious breath, and knowing that as you're calming your nervous system, you'll feel better equipped to face and handle anything that comes your way. So as you're breathing consciously, Enjoying even the pauses between the inhale and exhale. Be 
feel yourself becoming more aware. How much more presence can I bring right here to this breath? How much more awareness can I bring right here to my inner atmosphere? Longer, softer exhale. of your next exhale, pause for a moment. Just soften your eyes even more in towards your back. Serene brow, relaxed jaw, root of your tongue. knowing that you can get back to concerns, your to-do list later, but for now, this is your designated time to connect to calmness. Inhale all the way down to your diaphragm. Feel your belly billow out. Roll that billowing. Inhale all the way up. Bottom of the ribs stretch. Chest puffing. Tensions dissolving in this breath. Exhale releasing. Tensions out. Serene brow. Jaw, shoulders. Serene brow, soft eyes, relaxed jaw, soft shoulders. Breath in, exhale bowing your head to your heart, namaste, thank you for joining me. I hope you feel great ease and deeply connected to your calmness today. Thank you.